um, Chi, welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn coming at you with another weekly video. If you're new and you just found me, I am so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you. So this week's video is going to be jam-packed full of some yard cleanup, uh, some updates. Um, I, I just got a whole bunch of things in store. So I hope that uh, you know, you'll, you'll tackle something along with me, or maybe you'll just watch this for entertainment. That's totally fine as well. But I hope it inspires you to take a look at some area of your house and say, oh, I want to get that done. So, uh, first thing we're going to get into is tree removal was this week. So, so excited. So we're going to take a look at where we started and then I'm going to show you what it looks like after. It's not going to be like a huge difference because if you've seen my yard, I probably have 40 to 50 trees in my yard. So I got seven removed. It's going to make a little bit of a difference in how it looks but not a drastic difference. So, all right, uh, that's it. If you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's get to this week's video. Oh man, the sun is so bright, it's blinding me. <laughs> I thought I would step back here and get a quick view of uh, the tree guys are coming tomorrow. So we're gonna have four trees gone just from this little area right here. So we're gonna see what kind of a difference it makes. Uh, it's funny because they're so clumped together that you can't even really tell until you really look at them, which ones are still alive and producing leaves <laughs> because the ones that are producing leaves are just coming over to the dead ones. So let's go take a look at the backyard. All right, and then three trees are gonna be removed I think right here by the playhouse, I, I can, looking, I think that one might be dead right there, that little skinny one. Anyways, I just wanted to get a view of uh, what it looks like now, and I don't know if it'll change so much since they're dead and they're, they're, they don't have any leaves anyways, but anyways, I'll be back to show you what they look like. They are here. There's like five or six guys. They brought a ton of equipment. OMG, I don't know why I'm so excited about this, but I am excited. Well, I think I'm excited because for the first time in a very, 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 very long time, we are actually able to afford to do some maintenance on the house. Even though this isn't super exciting maintenance, it's really exciting to me. And I was just kind of getting a kick out of watching them. I've never seen a... I think it's called a wood chipper in action. Definitely never seen one of these in action before. It was pretty darn fun to watch this process. Oh, right now they're picking up that wood pile that was sitting in my yard. Yes, yes, we got the yard cleaned up. I'm so excited, so excited. I heard one of the guys say something about poison ivy and I'm like, oh man, did he see more poison ivy? The poison ivy guy has not come back yet. Uh, I'm just fascinated watching this. They get up on that thing, they cut a little piece down. Craziness, craziness. I'm hoping I get, they're like, every time they cut something down, they're yelling woo. I love it. <laughs> it's so hilarious. And it's just crazy to watch them chop it down. And then just there it goes timber wowzers wowzers i don't ever want to be a tree cutter but it's fascinating to watch <laughs> i'm guessing that's the tree stump removal thingy thingamajig <laughs> the technical term i'm pretty sure that's what he's doing there he's removing the tree stump that's all i can think of Maybe not, but anyways, it's an exciting day. Yep, I'm pretty sure, poor guy, he has to try to maneuver through all the other trees in the place to get to the three tree stumps they removed. But 
I didn't want to leave the tree stumps. Like that's just a pain, especially if I'm trying to make over the yard and have big tripping hazards in there and big stumps. So he's figuring it out, thank heavens. All right, they are done. These two skinnier trees gone. I can't even see because the sun's blinding me. Hopefully you can see. And two more back there gone. Ah, there, I'm getting out of the sun a little. And all the wood pile, the wood pile is gone. So now I have easy access to that mess. And look at how dirty the shed is. Guess what we're going to be getting out? I don't know if it's going to be in this video. Can't wait to get that baby cleaned up and just get all this cleaned up as well. All right, so we're definitely gonna get out here and take care of this. It is kind of my, it's like my side yard. It's like right next to the neighbors, but you can see it right when you pull in the driveway. It leads right into the backyard. So even though technically this isn't backyard cleanup, it needs to be done. You can see how much leaves I have. And there's Clarky living his best life, eating whatever he can find in the dang. Oh, Clark. <laughs> Clark, don't try to run from me. Look at how dirty your face is. Ugh. All right, let's get to work. Okay, so this was one of the trees that we found poison ivy growing up. Uh, it, which he, he sprayed for this and you can see the leaves have died. Um, funny though, when I scan it in that app I have, it says this plant looks healthy. I have been told even if the leaves look dead, don't touch them because there could still be oils on here. Well, then I looked up because this one ends like right here. It's growing like right into the dang tree. This is craziness. I looked up and I was like, oh, what's that? So I scanned that with my app. That's all freaking poison ivy, you guys. Look at this. Look, oh my gosh he must not have even sprayed this one look at how high up it goes it's like going all the way up the dang tree and it's obviously alive and well i'm gonna have to call him today he was supposed to come back for his follow-up and he did call and told me that he had to reschedule because we got a whole bunch of rain on the week he was supposed to come back which i totally understand that but that is all poison ivy right there Oh, look at this dog. Uh -uh. That's it. Thank you. Look at this dog. <laughs> he just got groomed this week and had a bath. Ugh. <sighs> he was having fun, weren't you, Clarky? Weren't you? Yes, you were. All right, so here I am out here doing cleanup, and this is actually garbage day. And I realized I had taken all of the... um leaves out to the road last week. So I have nothing sitting out at the road for pickup as far as uh, yard waste goes. And I can't have that <laughs> because I got goals. And the project is to make sure every single week there is yard waste at the road for them to pick up until I get my yard cleaned up. So I didn't even shower. This is first thing in the morning. I just got out here and I thought, let me just see what I could get done first thing in the morning. And plus finding that huge thing of poison ivy that is alive and well growing up that tree. I was like, okay, you know what? Just get out here, get all your protective gear on. I got my awesome farmer sleeves on that Kay sent me. Thank you so much, Kay. And I'll just get out here and do what I can because that poison, that tree that I just showed you where the poison ivy is, is extremely close to this area. So I don't know if there's poison ivy over here. So I'm just going to get what I can get done. And then I'm going to get inside and I'm going to wash all my clothes. I'm going to shower. I'm going to scrub. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure I'm not getting poison ivy again, but also getting my yard cleaned up. And a ton of you have shared with me that there's actually a poison ivy wash that you can buy, which I really do need to buy that. But since contracting poison ivy and having such a bad reaction to it, I have done lots of research. And basically, I have found out that as long as you are scrubbing your skin off, 
not just washing even with Dawn dish soap, which does great for protect for like getting oils off, but you actually have to scrub with something that's a little bit abrasive like a washcloth or a loofah or something like that to make sure that the oils get off. As long as you do that quickly, your chances of contracting poison ivy are much less. And obviously I'm doing everything I can beforehand to protect myself by wearing the sleeves and the gloves and I've got socks all the way up on top of my pants so my ankles don't get touched. Oh my gosh, look at what I am finding on the side of the shed. I'm telling you right now, this is courtesy of my husband. He is, I've shared this with you guys before, he, he does not like clutter, so he'll just stick things where he can't see them. What did I find back there? I found like a big tub. I found a, two light bulbs. Are you kidding me? Um, I pulled out that big, um, now like a pail. I pulled out a big pail. Oh my gosh. And of course it was all hidden under, you know, the years of leaf accumulation. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can to get in here and get as many leaves out of here as I can. So week by week, just Little by little, chunking away, making progress wherever I can make a progress. So I would love to hear whatever you are working on. Definitely feel free to share it down in the comment section with me. I love cheering you on. I love getting excited for you. Uh, of course, I didn't film this whole thing because it would be super boring. You can already see I have two bags out by the road. Now I am taking my third bag. I think I got out here at like 9 a.m. Um, and the leaf pickup or yard waste pickup is the last pickup that my, my city does. So usually they don't even pick it up until like after 4 p.m. So I knew I would be safe on this day uh, to get out here and get some dang bags out to the road. And of course, I'm using my handy dandy hand rakes. I love these things so much. I have had them for years and they just help you pick up huge piles that you could never pick up with your hands alone. Uh, so I will have those linked down in the description box if you ever have to do leaf pickup and you want something that makes it a little bit easier. I mean, leaf pickup is just a pain. There are lots of ways you can do leaf pickup. There are lots of ways you can do yard cleanup. This is the way I'm choosing to do these areas right now. I have some fun ideas for this area right here by uh, the driveway. That's where two of the trees were taken down. It really did kind of open up the area. Of course, you can see there's a bunch of leaves in there. I got to get that cleaned up. However, that was also an area that had poison ivy, so I'm a little nervous about that one. All right, let's see if we can get this area cleaned up so these poor beautiful hostas can maybe thrive a little bit more. They're awfully hardy, <laughs> growing back year after year, even with all my yard neglect. Oh, I wonder what this is. That might be a hosta coming in. I'm gonna have to scan it with my little handy dandy app. I keep talking about this app I'm using. I figured I better tell you what this app is. So ever since I contracted Poison Ivy, I did download an app and I do believe that it is a pay for app. It's not a free app. I think it has a free trial. Anyways, it's called Picture This and you can scan any flower, any plant and it will tell you what it is. And yes, I just looked and it's $30 a year. I signed up, I got it, and I knew that I had a free trial. I think you have 10 days before you get charged. And I was like, yeah, I'm keeping this. It's so handy if there's, literally I'm obsessed with it. If there is anything, well, even if I think I know what it is, I still scan it <laughs> just to make sure. But it's also helpful with my flowers because it tells me like if it likes sun or if it likes shade and how often I need to water it. It tells me if a plant looks healthy or if it needs attention. So totally worth it to me. That's the app I've been talking about. I didn't want to put the rake through this area too much and ruin. I mean, they probably would have been fine and they would have come back next year. But I was trying to be a little bit delicate with these poor guys that I've neglected for so long. 
and these leaves are literally years old. So there was so much just matted down and piled in that doing it by hand was just easier. It just gave me more peace of mind. So here's bag number seven that I just dropped off and then did some more. And here is bag number eight that I'm dropping off at the curb. There we go. Eight bags, eight bags. Project no week without lawn bags at the curb. <laughs> Successful. <laughs> okay, just a quick look at where, I mean, it was actually worse because I cleaned some of this area out last week, three bags worth. Uh, but here we go. The ground was just totally covered <laughs> in the leaves everywhere. And I came out here and put in some work to get it cleaned up. All right, today, once again, progress. It's all we're looking for. I got a bunch of little singular leaves down here I'll have to get eventually. But all of those leaves are gone. All of that wood is gone. Ah, it's just dirt and the shed is so dirty so it looks disgusting. But it looks like heaven to me because I made progress. I got most of this up. Look at all of this. We're all cleared of leaves. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. Oh my gosh. Make, we're making progress week by week, little by little. Uh, this was kind of a pain. I got down here by hand. I think I probably already told you that because I was trying to help these guys out. I don't deserve these guys. I've been terrible to them, but I'm gonna try. Uh, to be better to them. Every single one of them that I scanned on the app said it looks sick and <laughs> needs attention. The leaves were holding them upright. Now that I've pulled all of the leaves out, uh, they're all droopy. I don't know if they're supposed to be like that. They're hostas. I know there's so many different kinds of hostas, but um, hopefully, you know, obviously leave me any of your feedback on what I can do to bring these guys back, uh, but hoping they survive. I mean, if they could survive the mess I left out here for years upon years, I never watered these things. In 12 years, I've never watered these things. I'm so sorry, little guys, I'm gonna be better. All right, that's it, eight bags, we made progress. Oh, by the way, I thought I would say, it took me about an hour and 40 minutes uh, to do this section to get the eight bags and um, now I'm going to jump in the shower and, you know, make sure that I wash off anything potentially that I could have touched. Hopefully I didn't touch anything because I was wearing protective gear. All right. All right, we're now gonna move to the front yard and do some fun things. Uh, I mean, they're all, they're all good things to do. Yard cleanup is not necessarily fun, but it is good. My front yard doesn't really need yard cleanup. I've already done that. Uh, but I'm going to plant some dang flowers. I have been watching gardening videos <laughs> recently and, uh, I've heard a couple of videos pronounce these as dahlias. My mother grows dahlias and has always pronounced them dahlias. So that's what I'm calling them. <laughs> if I'm mispronouncing it and it drives you crazy, Sorry, not sorry. I call them dahlias. That's what my mom calls them. Anyways, she has an absolutely beautiful garden. I will show you guys soon. Um, and she grows dahlias every year. So many of them and they are gorgeous. And she pulls the bulbs up and then, you know, repots them and grows them and then puts them in the ground. And she has a bunch extra this year and asked me if I wanted some. So I'm going to try my hand. Oh, look at that. There you go some bloopers for you in a not so flattering angle. <laughs> you know, she digs them up every year. Saves the bulbs, repots them. know all the very big tall ones that she has in her yard? That's what these 
Yeah. Hubs was sitting out here watching me and asking me what kind of flowers these were. So I was telling him about them. So I'm probably going to have to get like tomato metal things. I don't know what they're called. Tomato steaks maybe because these do grow super duper tall and they'll, they'll start drooping down without some support. But for right now, I'm just going to plant them in the ground, cross my fingers that I can grow myself some beautiful dahlias just like my mom does every year. I can't even remember how many I took. Maybe, maybe nine, maybe seven. She had like 20 or 30 left after she was done with her planting. And I didn't want to take too many and overwhelm myself since it's my first time trying to grow the dahlias. Um, and I can't put any in my backyard because they do need sun. And my backyard has so many trees that it's just way too, way too shaded for them. So they're growing in the, the front yard. All right, I've got all of my uh, dahlias planted. So I'm gonna water them and probably should fertilize them. Um, Anyways, I'm excited to see what they turn into because they are absolutely gorgeous at my mom's house. I only haven't planted one yet. I want to plant it here, but when I pulled that, that back, there was an ant infestation. <laughs> so I sprayed some non-toxic stuff for the ants, but I thought I would have you, I thought I would show you my flowers because I'm pretty proud of them, except for one, one is having trouble. So my zinnias are looking gorgeous. Um, when I bought them, they all only had one flower and they're all budding. This one has three and look at the beautiful color change in this. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but I obviously got something eaten away at these. And since I'm a beginner gardener, I'm not certain what to do because I don't want to kill the plants. I could ask my mom. I think I'm going to be getting some new buds on that one. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. I have three flowers so far. There's a bud. There's a bud. That one's going to be gorgeous. This little guy, I don't know what happened to him. I don't know. <sighs> I think I think he's not going to make it. I think I need to pull him out. <laughs> I tried clipping off a couple of the stems. I need to clip off the rest of them. The flower was kind of looking healthy. Now it's not looking healthy. That's the only one. The rest of them look gorgeous. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. These are looking absolutely, all of them look beautiful except for that one. So uh, anyways, there's, there's that. All of my hanging baskets are doing absolutely fantastic and thriving and looking gorgeous. The only one that's not doing great is some of the flowers that I put in the pot that I've had on the um, porch, which I really loved it on the porch. You know, with my sloth guy, I mean, some of them are. Look, at I got to raise my sloth guy up because they're growing so big. But look at my Gerber daisies are dying ah, because I don't think it gets enough sun over there. And I don't, if you have suggestions, can I save this? We did move it in the sun, so tomorrow it'll start getting some sun. The grass is not doing great. That Gerber daisy is not doing great. A couple of them are, but some of them are drooping because uh, they're not getting sun. There is holes in the bottom, so it gets drainage, but I just had my husband drill a hole on each side as well down at the bottom to make sure it's getting proper drainage. Anyways, leave me all the tips because I'm trying to have some beautiful flowers here. So I got one dahlia planted there and then one dahlia planted there. This is not gonna stay here. It's dang heavy with all the dirt in it. So Hubs just set it down there. I gotta figure out where I wanna put that one to make sure it survives. Maybe I'll have to move it to the bench over there and figure out something that does better in the shade over here. Anyways, there you go. There's my, my little flower garden tour. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's looking good, except for one little guy there and this, this pot that's not been getting enough sun. And my lily. Oh, I just noticed. Look at the bud coming that I've had for years. I don't know. This has been planted for... Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, I'm so excited. 
Viv got me that for Mother's Day one year from, I don't know, something she made in school and it comes back every single year. So I can't wait that for that to flower. Oh, and this one, I have zinnias in here too and marigolds. Uh, they're all doing fantastic. My lilies, I haven't done anything with because y'all told me they will not. Some of you told me they will come back. A lot of you told me they will not come back, that you have to dig the bulbs up. So I don't know if I should be leaving it in this pot or if I should plant it and then pull the bulbs back. That's what my mom does with the dahlias every year. Digs them up, pulls the bulbs out, then replants them, and she has so many. So anyways, leave me your feedback on that one too. And while we did the front yard garden update, OMG, you guys, look it. in the tree oh, oh my 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 year is made okay we are going to move on to just a teeny little bit of cleaning uh, but can you i'm 50 years old and that is the first time i have seen a hummingbird in person of course i've seen videos and pictures i wasn't even expecting it it was rainy i'm so dang happy you guys oh my gosh it's the little things in life Okay, I watched a short video on Instagram and ordered myself this dryer vent cleaning kit. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, it looks pretty bad in there. Oh my. It comes with like 50 feet of tubing, so I added more tubing to get in further. Added more tubes to make it longer. did pull a little bit out but dang my dryer vent was <laughs> pretty clean I'm really shocked I mean I guess it's a good thing because it can be a fire hazard I wanted it to be like really dirty funny the video I watched like there was so much lint that came out of his dryer vent and I was like oh mine's gonna be like that because we haven't had it cleaned in years but it's pretty clear it's the vent is right here. Like the laundry room is right here. So the only thing I had trouble with is it does curve. I had to 
turn the drill on to get it like in more, but looks pretty good. This looks nasty, so we'll wash this. And Hub said I didn't use enough tubing, so he added more and now he's trying it. Yeah, there's no way I put Does it say forward or backward? Forward. Well, you gotta push it in there a little bit. And you got kinda gotta keep pushing it. But it won't go around the curve unless the drill's working. There you go. I mean, it's like right there, so. It's not taking the bend. It's not getting around the bend? No. I got it around the bend, I think. Okay. No, I don't know. He did inform me that he used, I don't know, some type of a tool, uh, like a rotor rooter tool, and got in there and cleaned it out just a couple months ago. So maybe that's why, but we're going to have to get behind the dryer to check. Uh, I'm just going to clean this up right now. And uh, it just wasn't as dirty as I thought it was going to be. And the tubing for the vent, it's not any more than 10 feet. I don't even think it's 10 feet because it was literally right inside that wall. Okay, we got this new trash cabinet a few months ago now. We absolutely love it. I haven't cleaned it and it's nice and dirty. So we're just going to get in here and clean this out real quick. It took a couple months, but we've all adjusted to the new place where the trash is. And honestly, I absolutely love it over here. I love it being contained inside this cabinet because then all this dirt and stuff is not spilling on the floor. It's not ruining my wall anymore. And it just looks like a pretty addition in my kitchen instead of just a free standing trash can. And I just got this from Amazon. I'll link it down in the description box. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I sure do appreciate you. We are almost finished with the video. I'm going to just clean one more thing. But this is my beautiful trash cabinet. And I have a hilarious story to tell you. Just the other day, I was getting ready to sit down to eat dinner. We were all at the table and I was the last one to sit down and I looked over at my ZZ plant and I was like, oh, look it. There's a new leaf that sprouted on my ZZ plant. I'm so excited. I'm not even kidding you. Every single one of my family members turned around and said, what? That's a real plant? <laughs> they all thought it was fake. And I'm like, hello, I'm a plant lady now. I have real plants that are actually living. <laughs> it was so funny. But I love to see that it sprouted a whole new leaf. I guess that's what you call it. This is dry. Uh, and just in case you have one of these and you're not sure, mine just pops on. It's got like little clips. Pops right on. And I'm talking about the cover for the, the dryer, of course. All right, here's another thing that I do not clean often enough is my vacuum. You really should clean them so that they stay good and so that they work good. My husband does almost all of the vacuuming in the house and no, he does not clean anything with the vacuum. So I have to remember to do it. And it's been a long time. Wait until you see what the dang filter look like. OMG. And it's been a while since I've worked in the kitchen. I did show you guys my new faucet when I got it. I don't know. I think I've had it like three weeks now. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It literally is a game changer to have a faucet in the kitchen that I can pull the spout down and get to all the areas of my sink. Here comes the filter. I probably haven't cleaned this in a month. Look at it. This is just like full of dust. Not good for your vacuum. And surprisingly about my faucet, I found it on Amazon. It was like $55, which I thought was an amazing price. I was searching Menards. I was searching Home Depot. I wanted a gold kitchen faucet. 
they were all like two and three hundred dollars. So I will definitely link the one that I bought down below. They had other colors as well, but gold was what I wanted. I'm not sure if you're supposed to use soap on these filters. I don't think you are, but I am because it was so dusty. I'm just using a teeny little bit of dish soap. I have so many projects that I want to get done in my house that sometimes it's hard to remember what you actually have accomplished. And I accomplished a lot this week. So make sure that you take the time to pat yourself on the back and tell yourself that you did a great job. I got eight bags of leaves out to the road. Uh, I planted some flowers. I got the dryer vent cleaned out. I got the vacuum all cleaned out. Um, my trash cabinet cleaned out and now I'm just going to quickly clean out my sink because it's very dirty. It needs a good scrubbing. And of course I'm using my favorite, the pink stuff for this. And you know, I just had all that dirt in there from the vacuum. So let's get this sink all shined up and I'm just going to pat myself on the back for the things that I did accomplish this week instead of thinking about all the things that I still have yet to accomplish. And oh my gosh, two weeks in a row that you did not see Donna Jean. I don't know why she just wasn't around when I was filming. I will make sure she gets in the video next week for sure. So much better. Again, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope it inspired you to tackle something in your house. And I'm going to see you again next week for a new video. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye!